This semester is probably one of the hardest for me. So if you're nervous when you first go into nursing school and think like, oh my God, I'm not gonna get this down pat, you are. By the way, just got in town And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky I just wanted to come on here real quick and say that yesterday I kept making the mistake of saying I have 21 days until graduation. I don't know where I got that number from, y'all. It's not 21 days. I mean to say this vlog, these vlogs are going to be countdown until graduation. It's not even 21 days. I literally have 26 days, 25 days until pending, 26 days until graduation, 29 days until my party. So when I say I don't know where I got 21 days, I think it it's because yesterday was the 21st. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But I apologize for any confusion. This is the countdown. This is the countdown. So what is up, YouTube? I'm doing the 21 days until graduation series. And right now I am on campus about to go and get my um, cap and gown with my mother. So my hair look crazy. But this is just the start of the 21 days until graduation, until pinning, until graduation party, everything. Hey y'all, so I'm laying across my bed right now. Um, I feel like early I just like jumped on and didn't really give a good introduction. But so basically I wanna just let y'all know what I'm doing here. I know I've been ghost for a minute, um, but what I wanna do is give y'all a 21 days until graduation, pinning graduation party, all of that. Um, I've been ghost since the last video I made, which was my second semester of nursing school. I am in my last semester of nursing school and I have reached 1K subscribers and I'm so excited. Like I was shocked actually because I haven't been posting anything, but y'all are some real loyal people. So I feel like y'all definitely deserve this. Um, I know I haven't been like posting and giving y'all like bring y'all on this journey how I want it to, but um, I can still give so many tips and I've learned so much in this program and I'm not even talking about like the content wise well obviously that but I'm talking about like how to study how to survive nursing school and I still feel like I'm like barely surviving but um y'all my hair look crazy don't judge because I'm this is me until it's time to get glammed um so be prepared to see this mess <laughs> But so today is officially 21 days until I graduate. Well, until my pinning ceremony. Graduation is the day after. So what I'm going to do is give y'all a series of 21 days up until those days, those, that day um, of my pinning ceremony. And then, of course, I'm going to give y'all graduation and then a graduation party. So what y'all are going to see is lots of studying for like finals and boards and oh my God, our exit exam and just trying to get together this graduation party and all the behind the scenes of that um so right now i know i'm so last minute with like invitations and stuff because y'all like they were kind of last minute with giving us the information for the graduation like they just first they told us that we needed tickets now they just told us that we don't need tickets so um what i'm about to do is i have this idea for my graduation um invites i'm gonna do e invites and I'm going to take a picture, like, I want to do a little video of me with my cap on and, like, gloves and stuff with my, like, white graduation scrub top, which I bought the scrub top for the pinning ceremony. But I actually have to, like, hit her up and be like, hey, where's my pants at? Because I had to order the pants because she didn't have them in white. But I just went from, like, waist up and then um, my graduation cap, get a little syringe, make it look cute. I don't know. But y'all are going to see the final product. So, 
let's try to do this video. Let's try to finesse because if y'all don't know, I'm the finesse queen. And I'm about to do all of this by myself. Well, obviously with my family and stuff. But I'm about to decorate all these ideas, everything that I have for my party, myself. I'm trying to save as much money as I can because, baby, nursing school has been kicking my butt. So this is just the beginning. This is the first vlog, day 21. We're going to be counting down. Y'all going to count down with me. I'm so excited. So what I'm going to do is fix up my hair. A little bit um just for these little photos my camera's about to die but i'm gonna just put a little bit of curls in there so i can put my um cap on and make it look nice i gotta hurry up because i gotta study i'm trying to stick to a study schedule all right so this was the outcome of my little quick me curling my hair it ain't perfect um did a little bit of makeup just to make it look like something and I'm about to record my little video for my invitations. So don't mind my nails, y'all, because... But this is my scrub top for pinning. And I tried so hard not to get any, like, makeup on there. So, and I was successful. But I'm still going to have to wash it anyway. I'm about to show y'all my whole little setup because I'm about to finesse this, this whole graduation invitation picture because it's so last minute. So this is my camera, my light, and my other light. And this is my niece's little um, play hanger, whatever, rack, because I needed that to hold my light. So I'm about to try to show y'all some behind the scenes, y'all. This is what these vlogs are all about, behind the scenes. Oh, I want to come put this light over here, though. Okay. Is that focusing? Just got in town. I'm about to struggle with this one. Do you want use your rain and thunder? Baby, I wonder. So we got a winner, a video winner. I'm so excited because this is really like, I don't know. I'm just doing stuff, y'all. Get to studying now, and then um, I'm gonna try to edit and do everything with this video. This video might be a little short because I'm just studying. All right, so that was a lot. <laughs> Not really, but it took up a lot of time. Now I gotta go. I'm gonna go back to my mother's office. My hair is, need to be washed, y'all. I can't believe I just put flat iron on it, but whatever. But yeah, I'm about to go back to my mom's office. That's where I've been studying because y'all, like, I cannot, um, get any studying done at home most of the time because my house is filled y'all probably hear some background noise so yeah i've been going to my mom's office to study because i can kind of focus more there it's just really annoying carrying around these heavy behind books in my heavy behind book bag just real quick y'all like i've been going through it this semester um like it, this semester is probably one of the hardest for me this semester is probably one of the hardest for me i went through it first semester because i feel like it was more so about adjusting to nursing school like like the adjustment to nursing school is crazy 
um you got like the stuff that they're talking about you're really just like i don't know what in the world is going on but the first semester is all about skills so they teach you all about skills and like things like how to hang ivs how to even just down to spike in the bag how to insert foley's how to like um you know dress in iv they teach you all of those things um just so you can learn these skills and honestly like now that i'm thinking back the stuff that i learned first semester i truly am you know th that was important like obviously everything that you're learning is important but not everything you're gonna like retain but those things you don't realize how repetitive it is so if you're nervous when you first go into nursing school and think like oh my god i'm not gonna get this down pack you are like you are because it's so repetitive like you're gonna keep doing it over and over now obviously it's different you know when you're actually working they don't really teach you ivs you're not allowed to do ivs like actually physically like start the iv like put the needle in the patient and everything you're not allowed to do that in nursing school um but that's why i suggest like if you work in healthcare and if you're able to some healthcare facilities already do this for their um employees but if you're able to make sure you get certified in phlebotomy i am certified in phlebotomy at my job um as a tech you take a class and everything you practice them um on mannequins and on people and you have to get a certain amount of sticks to like fully complete the course so um it will it's not the same as insert an iv i'm not saying it's the same as insert an iv it's slightly different but being able to like find the vein and you know get the vein and stick the vein that it really helps like it really does help when you're pra like starting ivs and practicing ivs also to get good at ivs because i think i'm going to actually do this <clears throat> myself one day when i have the time go ask your professors if they you can practice like come to the school and practice ivs because they have mannequins that actually will give you flashes and everything like um when you put the iv in and it it'll allow you to practice the skill of it advancing the IV, which I feel like would be like something I really need to practice, um, with is advancing the IV. But yeah, so it's a lot. It is a lot. But your first semester is really just you adapting and adjusting, and don't beat yourself up. Just take it day by day. Really pay attention. You know, you really, really have to want it, and that's why they say like nursing is not for everyone because the things that we learn, like you gotta be. I can imagine just doing this, just you know because i feel like oh there's a lot of money by the time i'm done it ain't even worth it like the stuff that you gotta learn you gotta really really be you know dedicated you gotta want to learn this stuff but yeah i'm gonna put my phone down i'm rambling anyway i'm gonna just talk to y'all in a few to show y'all really quick how i study right down on my notes in different colors as you can see because that's just how my brain works um anything in red is what um, the nurse would do. And I don't know, I just retain the information better this way. My classmates laugh at me because all of my stuff is color coordinated. <laughs> and then now, since I did all of that, I'm just going in and making concept maps. Like, honestly, I'm gonna go in and add some color to this too, but first I'm just writing it all down. Um, and just making like content maps, like just straight to the point, basically, is what my content maps are, which all comes concept maps should be just straight to the point. Like, what do you do um, as a nurse with meds? What, you know, like what risks? And now I'm about to go into C sections and write my little thing. On just got in town, then I won't let you me in this cloud, it's all in the sky. So I just got finished doing complications of labor, studying, and I just realized that I still have more OB stuff to do. Well, like I knew I had new hybrids newborn to do, but I didn't know, like I knew, but I forgot all about postpartum hemorrhage. So I still got to go over postpartum hemorrhage. So I got to go over high risk newborn postpartum hemorrhage shock in neuro spinal cord this vlog is gonna be a whole lot of me studying 
and that's just this next exam and then i'm going to be studying for finals like this is the last exam and then i'm just basically going to go over everything that i've already went over before but i really 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 need to study and focus on um pediatrics because that took a toll on me like y'all y'all don't know this because i haven't vlogged but i did terrible in my first two exams um so this like third exam in the final is one was what's gonna be what saved me i can't even talk it's going to be what's saving me so but we're about to get ready for our sisters with purpose meeting for those of you who don't know i'm part of sisters with purpose a nonprofit organization we have our annual mother's day luncheon on may 22nd so we're having meetings and we just come and everyone we have speakers and snacks and you know just uplifting women in the name of jesus um yeah so i think we tonight we do have a speaker um i'm probably not going to record it but you know just to see show y'all how we do things but i think i'm gonna end my vlog after this so I'm cracking up, y'all, because I literally started putting my hair, <laughs> putting my hair up. Um, I was, like, twisting it and stuff, but I just got back in the house, and, like, y'all, like, the Sisters with Purpose meeting was just a blessing. Like, it was such a blessing. Um, it was such a blessing, and, like, I'm just so glad that, you know, I was able to be there, and just everything that, like, so Sisters with Purpose is basically um a space for women to you know come and like share their testimonies and just like you know talk about the word of god and just you know it's just like such a safe space for women and we just talk and we get things off of our chest we uplift each other like it's just so beautiful and it's just so like a like a really great group to just be a part of so um it was really a blessing being there that about wraps up my first day of my 21 days until graduation festivities series um so today was just like a day in my life and tomorrow we are gonna have some more fun with studying with me these videos are going to get better and better y'all i'm just getting my feet wet again um but these videos will be getting better and i'm gonna just you know i'm gonna make sure i talk more about nursing um today was a little bit of crazy day but you know i'm gonna make sure i talk more about nursing and my just my whole journey and everything so but yeah so i got so much to tell y'all like i got so much I'm so much to tell y'all like i'm so excited i can't wait to share it with y'all thanks for subscribing if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure you do that now make sure you like this video leave comments of things that you want to see through these 21 days because i'm so hyped i'm so hyped I'm so hyped. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful. Like my, I, my heart is full of gratitude right now. So just make sure y'all subscribe right now and follow me on Instagram right now, right now.